Hello, young people. I'm Governor Sean Parnell, and behind me is the evidence of some really bad choices. Some teenagers who, one who drank and one who and drove, and the others who went along with him. It's pretty sobering to see, and I'm really here with just one message. That message is, your choices matter. It matters whether you choose to drink and drive. Don't. It matters whether you choose to be a passenger with somebody who drinks and drives don't. If you have any question at all about whether the person you're with has been drinking or is about to drive, don't get in the car. Call somebody. Call your parents. Call a friend. Call your grandparents. But do not get in that car with somebody who's been drinking and driving. Thanks so much. A devastating crash in the Eagle River High School parking lot yesterday morning has shocked the community. Anchorage police say two people are dead and five others were transported to Alaska Regional Hospital because a student drove to school impaired. Apidiology units report of a two-car collision with injuries. 8701 Yosemite, 8701 Yosemite. This is the Eagle River High School. Can you step out of the car Former state representative and current director of Governor Parnell's Anchorage office, Nancy Dahlstrom, and Eagle River High School senior Sarah Payton have been killed in an impaired driving collision. A very tragic thing happened today, and it's going to affect, like I said, the community, especially uh, the students of Eagle River High School, because these uh, students that were involved in this collision were well-liked and well-known throughout the school. The occupants of the other vehicle were well-known in the community. Dahlstrom and her husband Kit were leaving the parking lot of Eagle River High School in their car early yesterday morning after watching their grandchildren cross-country ski on the trails nearby. That's when 16-year-old Eagle River High School junior Sarah Terrell hit them with her red Mazda protege. I think this is pretty scary that it's actually happening like right here in our parking lot. Like this is real stuff. Like this is, isn't a joke and us teenagers should take this really seriously and not drink and drive. Dahlstrom's black Hondi accent was overturned by the impact and both occupants were partially ejected. Nancy Dahlstrom died at the scene and Kit Dahlstrom was transported to Alaska Regional Hospital with serious life-threatening injuries. Just don't drink and drive, it's probably not a smart idea and if you end up being intoxicated just like call your parents or something or find a way, just don't be stupid. The impaired teen driver, Sarah Terrell, admitted to Anchorage police that she had been drinking alcohol before school and was found in possession of marijuana at the time of her arrest. Her blood alcohol content was .10. She was also driving in violation of her provisional license by having passengers under 21 in her car who were not her siblings. Terrell received only minor injuries during the collision. It's just, it's hard to like really see and like watch this because it really could happen to anyone, anytime. And especially it being like people from your school, it's just scary because it's an action people make and it's not something that they're doing to purposely hurt someone, but it really can happen to anyone. <laughs> Trell had five passengers in her vehicle. Sarah Payton, age 17, was not wearing a seatbelt and died at the scene. Eagle River High School junior Bobby Shepard, age 16, had been riding in the trunk. She was severely injured and maybe paralyzed from the waist down. <laughs> the other three passengers in Terrell's car are all Eagle River High School seniors, Sheena Lashuto and Alyssa Randall, both age 17, and Izana Garcia, age 18, were all transported by paramedics to Alaska Regional Hospital for treatment. Sarah Terrell was arraigned yesterday afternoon on 10 different charges. Two of the charges were for manslaughter for the deaths of Nancy Dahlstrom and Sarah Payton. She received five assault charges. Two were assault in the first degree for the injuries to Kit Dahlstrom and Bobby Shepard. And three were assault in the third degree charges for victims Izana Garcia, Alyssa Randall, and Sheena Lashuto. She was also charged with a Class A misdemeanor DUI and misconduct involving a controlled substance in the sixth degree, as well as driving in violation of a provisional license. Terrell's bail was set at $100,000, along with the requirement of electronic monitoring and a third-party custodian. Please rise. District Court is now in session with Honorable David Wallace presiding. Please be seated. Sarah Terrell, the 16-year-old impaired driver who killed Nancy Dahlstrom and Sarah Payton last month, was sentenced to more than 15 years in prison today after changing her not guilty pleas to no contest. 
So all in all, this is a composite sentence, Ms. Terrell, of you serving 15 years and 180 days in jail with four years and 180 days suspended. There's a 2000 fine. You're gonna be on 10 years of supervised probation once you are released. Kit Dahlstrom was injured in the crash and his wife, Nancy Dahlstrom, was killed. Nancy was a former state representative and had been the director of Governor Parnell's Anchorage office when she was killed. Kit shared his grief in court today. Why us? Why my wife? Was she suffering as she lay there? Did she wonder where I was? She needed me and I couldn't stop this from happening to her. Sarah Payton also died in the crash. Her father shared his feelings. Sarah, you killed my daughter. It's very, very hard to see her dead body and not be able to do anything about it. It was terrible for us to have to bury her. Sarah Terrell's mother, Dina Terrell, asked the judge for leniency. We are a military family and we are here to stand behind her and offer her as much support as possible to help her get back on the path that for whatever reason she stepped off of. Um, and so I ask that you have compassion for my daughter. Sarah Terrell apologized to everyone in court today and said she is ready to take responsibility. I'd just like to apologize for you guys to have to be here and listen to all the things that have happened because of my choices. I'm very sorry for all of you and all the things that you've had to go through as well. Losing your child and losing your wife. I'm just really sorry. Um, also, I understand that the community is going through a lot because of my choices as well. And I'd like to apologize to them, and especially my school, because they're going through a lot too. And I understand that I deserve whatever it is that you see fit to give me.